welcome to the channel everyone, Bruno from RVing TV. Today we are going to take a look at three models of the Bushwhacker Plus. Braxton Creek has invited us to come down and take a look at the 2023 models for the Bushwhacker Plus for this video. We're going to look at a 15DS, compare it to a 15FK, as well as we're going to look at a 17FD, just so that we can see some of the differences in the models. So let's start with the 15DS. The 15DS is going to have an approximate dry weight of 1,960 pounds and approximately 1,300 pounds of cargo. When we start with the outside, the 15DS is going to have a single tank of propane, space enough for two batteries up front in the battery tray. As we make our way around, we have a gas electric water heater. We are sitting on nice large tires with black rims and polished aluminum. So very, very beautiful looking rims. Now those are sitting on a torsion axle to give the trailer a smoother tow. Out back, we actually have two stabilizer jacks that you can put down just to take a little bit of bounce out when you're camping. As we make our way around, we have an outside shower, and then of course we have our 30 amp hookup and our city water connection. The dump valves are very easily located. They're at the front of the trailer here, nice and easy to access with the black on the left and the gray on the right. We also have our fresh water tank fill right here, as well as a solar panel hookup connection. Now let's go take a look inside the trailer and look at this layout. So again, we're 1,960 pounds dry weight, which gives us a lot of flexibility. When you first step in, you're going to notice the double burner suburban propane range. We have a large and large for the size of trailer, single sink that is all stainless steel, nice and easy to clean. Down below the sink, we have some storage. So we pop this open, we've got a nice large storage compartment. Next to it, we have our microwave, all conveniently located. Now, on the left of the sink, we do have our command center, which has our water pump and our water heater switches for electric and gas. We also have our buttons here for our different tank levels and a 110 volt plug-in for those extra accessories like a coffee maker or a toaster that you may want to use in the morning. Above the kitchen, we have this nice shelf that is very spacious to hold extra gear as well as our entertainment center. And as you can see, it has a Bluetooth mode so you can stream your music to the actual media center. Over on this side, we have our thermostat for our furnace so that in the cooler weather, you can camp and stay nice and warm. And we have a large storage compartment here. Now, just below, we have our fridge. It's a single door fridge. Pop it open. It's nice and large with the ability to hold cans and additional storage here. Now, our bath is a separated bath on this unit, which is really nice. We have our toilet to the right, and then we have our shower. And the shower is very elegantly appointed. The surround has a ceramic tile look, and the gray and white uh, coloring really just gives it a nice overall look, and it pops shower head mounted on the wall and most importantly right above is a nice large skylight that gives us a little more clearance height wise as well as it lets in a lot of natural light as we make our way forward we have two opposing sofas that actually flip down and convert into a sleeping area in this unit. And also what we don't have uh, up right at the moment, but we'll show you here, you can see the holders in the floor for our table. And our table is just currently stowed away right up in here. So we can set the dining table in place to eat, 
and be comfortable to do any work remotely if we need to. Then when it's time to sleep or you want to have that afternoon nap, put the table away, fold down the sofas and you have a very large sleeping area. Now something to note, we have a large window that is screened on the left and on the right we have an emergency window but it is also screened and that is done so that you can have cross ventilation if you happen to be dry camping. Now if you're in a campground, really warm weather, there is a wall mounted air conditioner here and for those dry camping days or if you make a stop during your travels and you want to vent the unit out, pop open those windows, turn on the high volume fan here and you'll feel the air circulation being pulled through the trailer. Now let's go take a look at our next model so that you can have a comparison side by side. So now we are going to go to a 15FK. The 15FK is a little bit lighter. It weighs in at 1,900 pounds, has approximately 1,300 pounds of cargo. Up front, you're going to see that we have a single propane tank here, room for dual batteries as we make our way around a nice wide door we have the same nice large tires with black and polished aluminum rims we do have a storage compartment here so there's a nice storage deep and l-shaped so that you can put a fair amount of gear there's also a 110 plug on the outside for any griddles, radios, extra accessories that you might want to run. On the back, there are two stabilizer jacks for stabilizing the unit during camping. And something I didn't point out on the previous 15 is that the spare tire is undermounted on the unit. So it's out of the way and out of the sunlight. As we come around this side, very similar. We have our outdoor shower, our gas electric water heater. Low point drains are located nice and convenient if you happen to be coming up from a warmer climate to a colder climate. Our 30 amp plug-in is right here as well as our city water connection. As we move forward, we have our furnace exhaust, which is on the off camping side, as some campers have that on the camping side and you're getting your exhaust heat while you're sitting at the picnic table. We don't have to worry about that here. Our dump stations are in the same location with black on the left and gray tanks on the right. As we pivot up, again, we have our solar panel plug in here and our fresh water tank fill right here. Now, let's go take a look inside and see what the difference of this 15FK is versus the 15DS. Well, first thing you'll notice is right away when we come in, we move the positioning of some of our appliances. There is a nice large single door fridge here. Next to it, we have our microwave, the two burner suburban cooktop, our command center is located here. So we have our water pump switch, our water heater switches for gas and electric, and our buttons to look at our gauges for our tanks. Now, we also have some USB plugs, a TV antenna plug-in, and a 110 outlet because you could set a TV on top of this countertop space above the fridge. You can also use it as a prep area or put other items like coffee makers, espresso machine, yes, I'm getting a little fancy there, a toaster, any of those items that you may want. Above again, we have that same shelf, nice and wide to be able to hold those extra items. And then our media center, which also has the Bluetooth mode. As we pivot around, right next to the door is actually our thermostat for our furnace. So again, in cooler weather, you're going to be able to camp and stay nice and toasty warm. Now some differences. This is going to be a wet bath where in the 15DS we had the toilet separate from the shower. 
based on this layout we go to a wet bath to use the space most efficiently we have the same surround that has that gray and white tile look and here is our shower head to make showering easy now something I didn't point out earlier is that there is a roller shade for the shower nice and easy as you can see to put in place and then when you're done showering it actually rolls away and in its feature it's almost self cleaning next to the shower we have our stainless steel sink with some storage below our furnace is located right here and above we actually have our wall mounted air conditioner so if you're in the opposite climate we described earlier in a really warm climate and you either have a generator or plugged into 30 amps you'll be able to run that air conditioner and stay nice and cool now should you be dry camping we have an emergency exit with a screen on it and that is done so that you can, with a simple twist of the handle and a push, you can open that window, set it as such, and start to get ventilation through. Then on this side, we have another window with a screen that can be unlocked and opened for cross ventilation. If it's a little warmer day, you can then reach up to the high volume fan, which is a 12 volt fan, turn that fan on, and it will start drawing air through the cabin to help keep it cool. We also have some storage here next to the door. Now let's talk about our sleeping area. Currently this is set up to show you the sleeping configuration. It's a nice large sleeping area. However, you can remove these cushions set them in place and then the table that you're seeing here can be placed on its leg and be used and it will pivot around to make it easy to get in and out for eating for doing any work remotely but when it's time to sleep down it goes and you have this large sleeping area now let's take a walk over to the 17 footer so maybe you're considering a slightly larger trailer just that little bit of extra room. So the 17 FD may be that choice. Weight is going to go up a little bit. It's approximately 2,240 pounds and has about a thousand pounds cargo capacity. It's gonna have many similarities to the 15s. Up front, we have a single propane tank, a battery tray capable of holding two batteries. As we walk around the 17 FD, we have the same large tires black rims with polished aluminum we do have the outside 110 volt plugs if you need that in a campground and let's take a look at the storage compartment a little bit wider and it is a full pass-through compartment on this 17 FD where on the previous unit it was not a full pass-through out back we have our two stabilizer jacks and our spare is mounted below out of the sunlight keeping it nice and safe here is the opposite side of our storage we have our shower and our city water connection here a little difference from the 15s is our dump valves are located towards the back of the trailer here with our gray tank on the left and our black tank on the right our low point drains are also here for convenience as we make our way forward we have our 30 amp connection our furnace exhaust our plug-in for our solar panel if you wanted to purchase a solar panel and plug it in our gas electric water heater and our fresh city water connection now that we've reviewed the outside of the trailer let's take a walk inside and see the difference in the configuration of the 17 fd first thing you'll notice when you walk in we have a dinette that is a really nice size with an angled table to be able to allow you in to sit down on that side and that's done because we have a kitchen counter here at the edge but very easy to get in and out 
Now, also, our kitchen is now moved to the side of the trailer. We have our stainless steel sink, suburban two burner propane range. Below we have storage, and it's a nice abundant storage. Our furnace is located right below. It's a direct vent furnace. Above we have our microwave and our wall mounted air conditioner for that warm weather. Our fridge has been moved forward and it is the same single door fridge that gives you an abundance of storage. Our media center is located right here and again it does have a Bluetooth mode for listening to music and our thermostat moves right over here with a 110 plug next to it. Now we do have the advantage of a countertop above the fridge giving you some prep space. It's actually at a pretty decent height or can be used for some additional storage. To cool the unit if you're in warm weather we do have the 12 volt high volume fan right here and up front we have the two windows, the emergency exit with the screen and on the left the sliding window with screen. Now this unit has a fixed bed so if you prefer not to be taking a dinette, converting it for sleeping and then unconverting it in the morning for dining, here is the advantage that you can have a fixed bed up front, it is the full width of the trailer, nice for sleeping two people, very convenient. Plus, you can convert the dinette into an additional sleeping in case you do have a guest. Now the last area to cover is actually our shower and wet bath. As you notice, the screen is currently closed. Simply take it, push it in gently, and it opens up nice and easily. We have our toilet here, it is a full wet bath, and our shower, and we incorporate the same gray and white tile looking surround, and there is a light inside as well for those darker days when you're gonna need to have lights on. So that has been the comparison of our two 15 foot models and our 17 foot model. So we've covered the 17 FD, the 15 FK, and the 15 DS in the 2023 Bushwhacker Plus model family. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please click the like button if you like the video. Please subscribe. We hope that you've enjoyed the video. Leave us any comments below and visit your local Bushwhacker dealer for more information and to view these trailers in person. Thank you for viewing the video. Make sure you live life to the fullest each and every day.